take time to be holy. Speak off with thy love. Abide in him always. And feed on his word. Make friends of God's children. Help those who are weak. Forgetting in nothing. His blessing to see. Take time to be holy. The world rushes on. Spend much time in secret with Jesus alone. By looking to Jesus, like him thou shalt be. Thy friends in thy conduct, his likeness shall see. Take time to be holy. Let him be thy guide. And run not before him. Whatever be time, in joy or in sorrow, still follow thy Lord. And looking to Jesus, still trust in his word. Take time to be holy, be calm in thy soul. Each thought and each temper beneath his control. Thus, led by his spirit, the fountains of love, thou shalt. Soon be fitted for service aboard. Jesus' name we pray. Divine Father, you want your children to have assurance that the victory belongs to them. None should be afraid. Because you control the events of life, events of individual lives, of families, and of nations. God, what a good assurance that we have to be your children and to know that it shall be well. I pray that those here that don't know this secret their eyes will open today. Amen. They will walk into the palace of God Amen. and become children of God. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We love you, Father, and we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 I'm talking to you on there is hope for the people of God. There is hope for the people of God. There is hope for your life. Say unto the righteous, Something good is waiting for him. Tell him he will overcome. Amen. 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 Tell him not to fear what the devil is doing. Not to fear what the devil is saying. Because God is doing his own. God is saying his own and God's ways are superior to that of the devil. Amen? Amen. We want to consider the book of Esther. There we shall see how the enemies pressed on the children of God, the people of God. Heman was the act enemy of the Jews in the days of Mordecai. He used the authority of the government to carry out his wicked plan against the Jews. He sought to destroy all the Jews under the realm of King Ahasuerus. He got King Ahasuerus convinced. He got the authority of King Ahasuerus, 
who gave him this, the ring of authority as a signet. Letters were written to pass the decrees, the decree made by the king to all under the king, under the rule, uh, uh, the government of King Ahasuerus. What was it that the Jews should be destroyed upon a set day? Jews, the people of God, should be destroyed. I'm saying this because the enemy is planning hard against you. The enemy is seeking to destroy you. Plan is going on in the day and in the night. Not just you. The church. The enemy is planning against the church. To destroy the people of God. Out of the nation. Plans are going on to silence Christianity, to weaken Christianity, so that the enemy should take over. You could find also that not just you, but your family. The enemy is planning against your family against the members of your family and there can be an arch enemy like Haman a man is coordinating this one man is coordinating this a man in Nigeria may be coordinating all the battles against the church battle against Christianity to ensure they wipe out Christianity an impossible task actually. Can you tell him it is impossible? Tell him, let him hear you well. Shout it to him the third time. What can be done that has not been done? History will tell us the answer. Yes, it could be a movement of God as ours. That a man is rising up to scatter it. To destroy it. To cause people to abandon it. Holy in a survival movement. Whatever. It might be on your business, man of child of God. Daughter of God. That someone has, is rising up against it. To attack it. To waste it. But history will repeat itself. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Look at it in the book of Esther, chapter 3. Esther, chapter 3, from verse 8. And Haman said unto King Ahasuerus, There is a certain people scattered abroad and dispersed among the people in all the provinces of thy kingdom and their laws are diverse from all people neither keep they the king's laws therefore it is not for the king's profit to suffer them If it please the king, let it be written that they may be destroyed. And I will pay 10,000 talents of silver to the hands of those that have the charge of the business to bring it into the king's treasuries. And the king took his ring from his hand and gave it unto Haman, the son of Hamedeta, the Agagite, the Jews' 
enemy. Can you see? God made you for a purpose. Someone will come to say you have no purpose for living. God gave you the right to live. The permit to live in this life. A person somewhere will come to say you have no use in this life that you should die. God caused us to live in this nation. He gave this nation to us. He gave himself a name in this nation. He is known by Christianity in this nation. He is known by men and women of God that serve him in sincerity in this nation. Can you imagine a man somewhere who doesn't think well, who is off his senses, who has lost his humanity, to come and say he doesn't see the value of Christianity in this nation, that their laws are diverse, he doesn't see the, the, the value of Christianity in this nation, that they should be wiped out. History will repeat itself. Everybody say, History will repeat itself. Praise the Lord. Yes. And the and authority carelessly intact into his hand. The king removed his signet of authority and gave him. I support it. The gospel is in support. And so, and the king said unto Haman, the silver is given to thee, the people also, to do with them as it seemed good to thee. <laughs> ha. The king has authority over men, but not on this peculiar men. He has authority over people, but not only peculiar people. Already the king has been told the people are superior to his laws. They obey not like sinful laws, carnal laws. These are people controlled by heaven. I am announcing to the king that you are not carnal. I am announcing to the king that you are controlled by heaven. That the laws that govern your life are superior laws. Yes. Then, when the king scribes called on the 13th day, of the first month and it was written according to all that Haman had commanded unto the king's lieutenants and to the governors that were over every province and to the rulers of every people of every province according to the writing thereof and to every people after their language in the name of King Ahasuerus was it written and sealed with the king's signet. I want to tell you that whatever you see going on in the government, contrary to the people of God, whatever you see going on in any family, contrary to your life as a person of God, as a child of God, whatever is going on in the society, Contrary to you as a man of God, whatever is going on contrary to the church of God, don't bother. History will repeat itself. They roar and send out to all people and sign with a skin sickness. That's authority of the earth. That's authority upon the earth. Whatever voice is being heard in this nation, contrary to the name of the Lord, is a voice, is an earthly voice. He that is above is from above, is above all. That's 
that's the word of God. I say it is the word of God. So, all dust of the earth have been given. The copy of the writing for a commandment to be given in every province was published unto all people that they should be ready against that day. The post went out being hastened by the king's commandments and the decree was given in Shushan the palace and the king and Haman sat down to drink and the city Shushan was perplexed. The city Shushan was perplexed. While the king and Haman sat down to drink for Haman's last time. Maybe. Hallelujah. Except the one that Esther shall give him to prepare for his, for his eventual departure from this life. Hallelujah. That the people of God should be wiped out. What do you mean? Go back again and think well. Recover yourself before you leave the place as a man left. Go back and plan and recover yourself from that plan. Against the people of God. Already they have told you that they are divers. Divers from other people. Already they have told you they have higher laws. They are obeying higher laws. Coming from the great God of heaven. Are you there? Do you obey higher law? Can you raise it up? The higher law. Above the laws of the earth. Above the laws of the government. Above the laws of the kings of this world. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. That makes your defenses to come down from heaven. That's the world. So. Now, when these things were done, the Jews so knew where that salvation would come from. Mordecai informed Queen Esther to appeal to the king, but Esther showed that it was impossible to do that. Because of the penalty, if one was unlucky, Esther chapter 4, from verse 1 to 9. When Mordecai perceived all that was done, Mordecai rent his, rent his clothes and put on sackcloth with ashes. And went out into the midst of the city and cried with a loud and bitter cry. It's not easy. When the devil sets up his plan, great plans, wild plans, at first, many will think there's no way out. When the devil sets up his plan against you, when he raises up his gun and points at you, many will just collapse because they will not ever think there's a way out. But the God of heaven said, I should tell you, there's a way out. Yeah. How many times have God been triggered but the bullets were not released? Yes, there's a, there's a God in heaven. You are before him. You are before him. The great God in heaven. Yes. Now, he came to, and, and, and came even before the king's gate. For not might enter into the king's gate, clothed with sackcloth. And in every province, province 
Whithersoever the king's commandment and his decree came, there was great mourning among the Jews and fasting and weeping and wailing and many lay in sackcloth and ashes yes that all should be wiped out men women and children and their property confiscated their wealth everything should be removed should be taken for what reason what reason can the devil offer for desiring your death? What reason can your enemy offer, present, that he desires your death? What reason can the enemies of Christianity in this nation present to desire that Christianity should be subdued here? It can never work. What reason? What reason do you have enemy of God's people against the move of God? Holiness revival movement worldwide. What reason do you have that it must not continue? You're joking. So. So. Esther's maids and her chamberlains came and told it her. Then was the queen exceedingly grieved. And she sent Raymond, Raymond to clothe Mordecai and to take away his sackcloth from him. But he received it not. Then called Esther for Hetak. One of the king's chamberlains, whom he appointed to attain upon her, and gave him a commandment to Mordecai to know what it was and why it was. So Hetag went forth to Mordecai unto the street of the city, which was before the king's gate. And Mordecai told him of all that had happened unto him and of the sum of the money that Haman had promised to pay to the king's treasurers, treasuries for the Jews for the Jews to destroy them. Also he gave him the copy of the writing of the decree that was given at Shushan to destroy them, to, to show it unto Esther, and to declare it unto her, and to charge her that she should go in unto the king to make supplication unto him, and to make request before him for her people. And Heta came and told Esther the words of Mordecai. It's normal of man that whenever man encounters danger, he looks at who is available among men. It's normal. Who is available among men to help? Every little chance that is defined, they will just lay up upon that little chance cast their weight upon that little chance so it was normal so when Esther sent to know what was happening to Mordecai he explained everything and demanded Esther to make, to make request of the king so that the people should be delivered but you know there is some hopelessness in their case that's why we say there is hope for God's people. It, the, the, the decree of Ahasuerus the king was superior to the king. When the king signed a decree, according to the decrees of the patients and the medics, that decree can
can never be changed even by the king himself. That decree. So, there are matters that solution cannot come in the realms of men. If God does not intervene, solution cannot come. That's why we are pointing you to God. That in your case, in the devil's attack over your life, you might be looking to men. You might be seeking help from men. You might be running to men to seek help. Yes, Mordecai ran to Esther for help. But if there is no divine intervention, there can be no way. If you don't look to God and you are looking to man, you will never find solution in this war Satan has staged against you. If you think that you can find answers in harmonies, fortune tellers, magicians, you can find solution in getting charms you have felt. Certainly the devil will overtake. Your enemy will overtake. There's no other way. The higher power available has been taken by, by man. The enemy of the, of the Jews, your man. You are taking your seized hold of the highest power available among men and had gotten it to his favor. The only one left is the high, the power from heaven. That one was the only one he man had no access to. And the only one remaining for you. The power of heaven. The authority of the God of heaven. The intervention of the God of heaven is the only opportunity available for you. If you don't turn to God, if you don't look unto him, if you don't come unto him, and you think that you will find help in me, you are failed. There's no hope actually for you. That's why you're here. The mercy of God has brought you here. So that you will come and look unto him. As Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness. So also must the son of man be lifted up. That whosoever believeth on him should not perish but have everlasting life. That's why you're here. To, for the one alternative left. Everybody said Jesus is the only alternative left for you. Say it again. Exactly. He is the only alternative. Otherwise, your enemy, Satan, has gotten the power of man on earth. All men he has taken over them. He's using them. They're in consent with the devil. They've surrendered their power to the devil. They are ready to cooperate with the devil against your life, against your life, against your family, against your marriage, against your business, against your ministry, against the church. The only power left, the only solution left, the only person left is Jesus. And that is the end. And for your information, that is a superior power. That is a superior being. Satan bows under him. All enemies bow under him. Heaven and earth bows for him. Get Jesus. All when you look back, you will see him bowing down. Hallelujah. Now, see the answer that Esther sent to Mordecai. Again, 
Esther spake unto Hetak and gave him commandment unto Mordecai. All the king's servants and the people of the king's provinces do know that whosoever, whether man or woman, shall come unto the king into the inner court, who is not called, there is one law of his to put him to death, except such to whom the king shall hold out the golden scepter, that he may live, but I have not been called to come unto the king's to unto the, to unto the king these thirty days, and they told to Mordecai Esther's words, showing the hopelessness of the matter. Esther told Mordecai, "You are trusting in me. I cannot do it." You are trusting in me even as the number two man. You are thinking that I being the number two man, the number two person from the king is me, the queen. You are thinking I could do something. I cannot. Even my life is in danger. Even my life is in danger. If I don't play it well, I will die before you. If I don't play it well. You know, don't you know what is happening in an issue? Are you not aware? All the king's servants, they knew that nobody can come in into the king uninvited. Is that he will, he will do so at the risk of his life. And I'm not invited. For all this one month, I've been put aside. The king has not even remembered me. So, weights were taken to Mordecai to say, in vain is the trust on man. In vain, in case we are putting our trust on any number two man, is vain. You are putting your trust on any number two man. It is vain. Because the battle is not human battle. It's above man. I give you, a, I open a little curtain for you. It's a battle of ages. It's a battle of ages between God and Satan. It's a battle to hinder eternal redemption. That the seed of the woman promised should not come. There can human being fight that battle? No. Him, him man was just a human representative. We must get connected to the divine person. So that we too can be human representative of the divine God. It's then we win. As much as God has won over the devil. But if we put our eyes on man, we fail. Put your eyes on God because the battle is stronger than you know. That battle you think began just some few moments ago, it had been before you were born. It's a battle that has to do with the eternal soul of, eternal soul of men. It has to do with your eternal soul. That battle began the very moment you were formed in the womb. Satan began that battle. In case you're seeing man, see Satan behind it. In case this country is seeing man or is seeing an opposite religion that is fighting Christianity, let us know that the matter is beyond religion. It is the devil himself contending with Jesus over Nigeria. Yes, because the devil knows that Nigeria is the headquarters of Christianity in the present world. 
And that is why he wants to silence the voice of Christianity. He is doing all this battle. He is raising up the Haman to fight Christianity and silence it. He wants to do it very fast because if the missionaries are weakened, the pastors are weakened, the believers are weakened, the churches are weakened, nobody will preach the gospel to the hidden lands anymore. The, the only missionaries going to the hidden lands anymore, to the backsliding western no, there will be none and the coming of Jesus he will come and find no man that's why you are hearing all these stories you are thinking it's a battle between two you are thinking it's a battle between two religions no, it's battle between two spiritual authorities the authority of God and that of Satan but Satan has bowed That's what you need to understand. And therefore, if we must win in this battle, we must get connected with God. Because does thou believe that there is God? Yes, even the devil believes and trembles. It is when the matter connects with God that the devil trembles. Yes. Get the matter connected with God. Look up to God. Then you will see the devil run. Because once I find heart and twice has it echoed out that power belongs to God. Power belongs unto God. So in the realm of man there was hopelessness. Then Mordecai renewed his strength and saw that the earth and all its occupants would not walk. He, he flew with the wings of the morning to heaven and got the matter connected and told Esther, Esther, you are just a representative. We recognize a higher power existing outside you, superior to the king Hasuerus and to Heman. We recognize him. That's what Mordecai said. Verse 13. Then Mordecai commanded to answer Esther, Think not with thyself that thou shalt escape in the king's house more than all the Jews. For if thou altogether holdest thy peace at this time, then shall their enlargement and deliverance arise to the Jews from another place. But thou and thy father's house shall be destroyed. I who knew it, whether thou art come to the kingdom for such a time as this. Hallelujah. Yeah. Esther, listen, we're not depending on you. We are not depending on you. We are only see you to be a divine representative. Because if it is you, you will not succeed. We have faith in the unseen. We are connected, heavenly connected. The Jews have been coming from ages. They are children of covenant. Covenant with the God that says, I am. I am who I am. <laughs> we are children of covenant. Children of Jehovah. The God that has no end and has no beginning. Ever live it. We are connected to him. Esther. You, you, we see you as an earthly 
representative of this divine personality who knows whether you came to the kingdom for, to represent God not by your power but in representative of the great God in that knowledge brother fight to deliver your family in that knowledge my sister fight to deliver your marriage from human connected to God fight to save your children connected to God fight to deliver human beings from the atrocities of this life from wicked people in this life cooperate to help your brother save him connected with God fight because you are representing God connected with God fight to promote the cause of Christ when I talk about fight I'm not talking about uh, weapons of war guns and bows and arrows for the Bible says though we walk in the flesh we will not after the flesh for the weapons of our warfare and not carnal they are not things you can touch in the physical but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds casting down imaginations Yes, casting down imagination and bringing into captivity every part to the obedience of Christ. Yes, use the spiritual weapons of prayer, weapon of the world, weapon of fasting, weapon. Use it to dethrone the devil, silence them. Silence them and save your people. For you are coming to, to the throne for such a time as this to bring a great deliverance to the people of God. Yes. You are born again for this purpose for your family. To battle against the forces. The powers that have been fighting their family for many years. Now that you have come into the faith, you have come into salvation, you have come into Christ, turn back and you build that demon possessed lady by the power of God and deliver your family and deliver your people in the name of Jesus. Amen. That's what God is telling you. Mordecai said, if you keep quiet, there shall enlargement and deliverance. Open up for us from another place because we will not perish. We will not perish. Children of God, you will not perish. Let the Christians of this nation know you will not perish. They shall enlarge me comfort for you. Yes. That one is sure. It has been proved. They went into the den of the lions and came back alive. They went into the fires of the Bukhadnezzar, hit it seven times, and the Son of God was with them, and they came out alive, and the world glorified God. We are of those, we are of that seed. I say we are of that seed. We cannot be destroyed. Brother, you are of that seed. You cannot be destroyed. My sister, you are of that seed that cannot be destroyed. For whosoever is born of God overcomes the world. That's the world. Yes. The promises of God are there. Enlargement. There shall enlargement. All those things threatening, <laughs> all those noise going on in the government, going on in the neighborhood, going on in the camp of the other people. 
What seeth the Lord? What what's the Bible saying? The Bible says God is laughing. What did I say? What did I say? Bring them make together and say we will clear these people off. God is looking at them and he's laughing. Clear which people off. Have they cleared the mountain off? That mountain they have they cleared it off? <laughs> In the book of Psalm, Psalm 2, I read from this one. Psalm 2, this one. Where do the hidden rage and the people imagine a venting? The kings of the earth set themselves. And the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed saying, Let us break their bonds asunder and cast their cords from us. He that seated in the heaven shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath and vex them in his sore displeasure. Yet have I set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. I will declare the decree. The Lord has said unto me, Thou art my son. This day have I begotten thee. Ask of me. And I shall give thee the hidden for thy inheritance and the uttermost part of the earth for thy possession. And thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Thou shalt dash them in, in, in pieces like a potter's vessel. Be wise now, therefore, all ye kings, be instructed, ye judges of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear. And rejoice with trembling. Kiss the son. Lest he be angry. And yet perish from the earth. Perish from the way. When his wrath is kindled but a little. Blessed are all they that put their trust in him. Hallelujah. Can you worship God with a clap of him? Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Worship. Worship. Hallelujah. Yeah. What are you going to do against the king, the, 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 the son of God? God declared him to be the son for the salvation of mankind. What can you do? What can you do against the son of God? That the kings of this earth sit down together. That they will silence the, true, the people of the son of God. The Bible says the Lord shall speak to them in his wrath. The Lord shall speak to them in his wrath and vex them in his own soul displeasure. Judgment shall follow. Amen. Judgment shall descend. Amen. Let everybody fear God. Fear God. Fear God. Otherwise, if the Lord rises up for his people, you will melt away. Plague. Plague will befall you. In another Ebola. Amen? Amen. Fear God. Kiss the son. Kiss the son. So that the Lord will be pleased with you. Otherwise, he will be, he will be displeased with you. Judgment will follow. Judgment will follow. Then you reject the Son of God. You reject Jesus. Where will you start? Where do you belong? That have rejected Jesus. And there's no other way. There's no other way. Any other person struggling to go to heaven without Jesus is wasting his time. 
There's no other way. That's the world. Kiss the son. Come to peace with him. Come to terms with him. How do you think to fight against righteousness? The Lord has raised up his people in righteousness. He has raised up his people in holiness. You say you will fight them. How will you do it? He will vex you in his soul displeasure. You're wasting your strength. You're wasting your time. That's what God is talking to you. Yes. God will love. God is laughing. Except he finishes his work. In this life. Your stone shall not go out from your hand. The stones who carry to stone the Son of God shall not lift your hand Amen. until he finishes his work. Amen. Until the rapture takes place and the Lord is taking his people out. No voice of Christianity shall be silenced in this nation. Amen. Then we shall be living gloriously as our Lord left. Amen. He just did like this and started going up gloriously, gloriously until he was a thief of the cloud. And then two angels said, oh, what are you seeing? This Jesus that you are seeing going up to heaven shall come in the light manner. Hallelujah! Gloriously. We shall depart gloriously. Thank you, Jesus. In the book of Psalm 46, for this one, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, will not we fear, though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though the waters there of war and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swellings thereof, there is a river. The streams whereof shall meet God, the city of God. The holy place of the tabernacles of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her. And that right early. God is in the midst of his church. God is in the midst of his church why should you be afraid don't be afraid Amen. don't be afraid Amen. tell your preachers that they should never be afraid Amen. tell your church members that they should never be afraid Amen. for God is in his church Amen. it's a midst of his people we shall not be afraid what noise is going on Amen. what roaring is going on Hallelujah. That's what God is saying. The hidden rage. The kingdoms were moved. He uttered his voice. The earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. He's the God, the Lord of hosts, the God of battle. He is our refuge, a hiding place. He's the God of battle. He's with you. He's with you in that house. He's with you in that office. He's with you in your business premises. He's with you in the school. 
and it's a God of battle. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't be afraid. There's hope. You're going to come out. Amen. You will win. Amen. I say you will win. Amen. From that pit that the devil thinks has cast you there, you will rise up from that pit. Amen. For Daniel came out from the den of the lions. Another Daniel. I say you are another Daniel. Behold the works of the Lord. What desolation he had made in the earth. He made wars to cease unto the end of the earth. He broke the bow and cut the spear in sunder. He burned the chariot. Be still. I know that I am God. I will be exalted among the hidden. Yeah. Give a clap of faith to Jesus. Give a clap of faith to Jesus. The Lord, a revival is still coming in this nation. Revival is still coming in this nation. The hidden shall bow to Jesus. The hidden shall bow to Jesus. Exalted among the hidden. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. This is the voice of the Lord. The devil cornered you in a temptation, fierce temptation. To carry you off into sin and wickedness to the point that you're despairing you may not live the righteous life anymore you will live it Amen. I say you will live it Amen. Mordecai is saying there is a corner where deliverance is coming from you from to your life you are seen, you say you, you see nobody to help, nobody to deliver. Oh, I am in the hands of these wicked ones. You have not seen the corner of deliverance yet. You have not seen where deliverance shall fly through. The light of God shall penetrate. It shall come to your corner. It shall take hold of you. The yoke shall be broken. You will be free. For there is no temptation taking you but such as is common to man. But God is faithful. Who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able but weak, but will weak the temptation. Make a way of escape that ye should be able to bear it. The Jews escaped. The Jews escaped. You will escape. You will escape. Righteousness will continue. <laughs> Praise the Lord. That is it. You know, there are people who are saying the way this thing is now. I don't know what to do the way I'm feeling. The way this thing, oh God, what do I do? Just wait there. Very soon you'll be singing the song of Zion. Jesus. That's God talking to you that there's hope. God is saying there's hope. Underneath our everlasting arms, the eternal God is your refuge. He is the rock that has been following you. The rock that has been following the children of Israel. That rock will not abandon them in, in Shushan the palace under the gospel of King Ahasuerus that rock that has been following them that rock is Christ it shall not, ab it shall not abandon them the one coming with you is Jesus 
He said, I am with you. He will not abandon you. He will not abandon you on the way. The journey is eternal journey. Cooperate with him. Believe him. That's what God is telling you. The Lord will deliver you from six trouble. Yes, from seven, nothing shall happen to you. The Lord shall give his angels charge over you. And they shall bear thee with their hands, lest thou dash thy, thy feet against a stone. Child of God. Did you know how much jealously God watches over you? Is it a common thing to be a child of God? Some of you will be joining children of God today. Today will be your own day that heaven shall declare upon you, you are a child of God. It's not easy. Among a million people, difficult to find how many? Can you find 50? So how precious you are in the sight of God. He loves you. That you're serving the God of heaven in righteousness and holiness. That you have cleaned up yourself from dirty things inside your heart and outside your body. You are conforming to the image of Christ. You are what a, what, what a priceless creature you are in the sight of God. You are great. I say you are great. His eyes are upon you. You are the apple of his eye. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Worship. That's God. That's what the Lord says he will do. Haman and the enemies of God's people shall perish. Haman perished. Haman perished. Enemies of God's people shall perish. Amen. Don't run after God's people, else you will perish. Occultic man, don't run after God's people, lest the fires of God shall consume you. Amen. Religious man, don't run after the enemy uh, after God's people to sit there. Heart, lest you destroy yourself. Amen. You man in authority, don't run after God's people to hurt them, lest you lose your throne. Amen. You lose your life. Amen. A man perished. A man perished. The gallows he made for Mordecai, he hung there. The gallows he made to hang Mordecai, a righteous man, a holy man, a dedicated man who refused to bow the knee for, for man for, for in, in, in human worship because he acknowledged the worship of the only one God, the God of heaven, the God of the Jews, the creator of the heaven and the earth. That man, you pre prepare a gallows for him, you will hang there. You will hang there. Glory to my God. Let God be exalted. Let God be exalted. Let everybody believe in God. Submit to him. Bow down your life to him. And let him take over. Then you have a glorious existence. Thank you, Jesus. Hmm. The Bible tells us in Isaiah chapter 41, verse 9 to verse 13. Isaiah 41, verse 9 to 13. Thou, whom I have taken from the ends of the earth, and called thee from the chief men thereof, and said unto thee, Thou art my servant. I have chosen thee, 
and not cast thee away. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Yeah, I will help thee. Yeah, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Behold, all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing. And they that strive with thee shall perish. Thou shalt seek them and shall not find them. Even them that contended with thee, they that war against thee shall be as nothing and as a thing of naught. For I, the Lord thy God, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear Lord, I will help thee. Amen. It is done. Amen. The matter is finished. Amen. I said the matter is finished. Amen. Are you happy? God says, don't be afraid. He's going to take over that matter. When you pass through the waters, he will be with you. Through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. When you pass through the fire, it shall not be, thou shall not be burned. Neither shall the smoke kindle upon you. The God of heaven is the one talking this. How many of you will identify with God today? Will surrender your life and say, Oh, wonderful, I have a creator like this. I don't know about it. I surrender to him today. I, I, I stop my sins that are grieving his life. My sins have been disturbing him. I commit sin against God. I do wickedness against creatures of God. I do wickedness against human beings. And God is angry. Oh God, I stop it today. I won't do it anymore. God, save me. I want to be your child. What a great day for you today. Everybody, let's rise up upon our feet and go before the Lord prayer. Talk to God and say, God, I thank you. You have spoken. This is the message you have been waiting for. Others have been waiting for it. Thank you, Lord. Let the Holy Ghost take over. Thank you, Jesus. Let the Holy Ghost take over. Take over. That is it. That is it. Surrender your life to Jesus. Kiss the sun. Let's get angry with you. And you'll be wasted away. Because he's your God. His laws are superior to the earth. Submit to him. Submit to the laws of God, not of man. In Jesus' name we pray. Now you are going to pray that the glory of the Lord will come upon this nation. The power of the Lord will come upon this nation. The presence of God will come upon this nation. And the nation shall go through revival. Go through revival. From the north to the west. From the south to the east. Revival. 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 Open your mouth and pray. The power of the Lord shall come down. Oh Lord, take everywhere. Take over everywhere. Let your presence take over everywhere. Father, we pray for your revival. Your revival in the north, in the south, in the east, in the west, in the name of Jesus. 
in the name of Jesus. Revival upon this nation. Revival upon this nation. Revival upon this nation. Oh Lord, pour revival in Jesus' name. Pour a revival upon Nigeria. Yes, Jesus, upon the nations of the earth. Upon the nations of the earth. Oh Lord, upon Africa. Pour a revival upon the Western world. Pour a revival, Lord Jesus. Take over. Do your last work. Do your last work before the rapture. My God, take over the nation. And the nations. The message you have just listened to is a production of Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide. Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide is a non-denominational ministry that is given to the propagation of Christ's righteousness and holiness in churches and nations of the world through crusades, revival meetings, production and spread of holiness literature and materials. For other spiritual materials, messages or inquiries, contact us on 0816-902-3948 or 0805 you can also reach us through our email address, holinessrevivalmovement at gmail.com. God bless you. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Hallelujah. Jesus, I believe in you. You are my Lord and Savior. I believe
Jesus, I believe in you. I 